What's up guys, Atlas here. We're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Vocaloid Changer uh, feature that's a part of the Vocaloid 6 editor. And this is just going to be a short tutorial on how to use that. So first thing you want to do is open up your editor and then right click on an empty track below the space and then you want to click add audio track. From there you want to drag and drop an audio track from, uh, you know, like whatever you're trying to cover. Make sure it is the vocals only, so acapella. And once you've had that, uh, WAV file, you want to click and drag, let it load for a little bit, and then once it's loaded, you want to go ahead and click it. Once you've clicked it, it'll bring up this new uh, screen at the bottom, and then it automatically brings up the vocal low changer. And what you can do from there is just click the drop down arrow, choose a voice, it'll convert this uh, into basically an audio track for your voice to sing it. So if you're familiar with the vocal listener job plugin from older Vocaloids, it works pretty much exactly like this, except there is no project file for you to edit notes of. It's just the audio. Um, when, when you do this, and we're going to actually talk about why this works better in some ways than it does in others, you want to make sure your vocal track is an acapella only, of course, so no instrumental or background noise, um, no effects on the voice, so no reverb, no delay, none of that and no vocal layering so that that all those types of things will distort the voice and make it sound really messed up so we're gonna go ahead and listen to this example this is a Japanese example we're gonna uh, listen to an English example and then we're gonna listen to the best example that I have so far based on the acapella that I have in my possession so this is the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, opening by Eve and I actually want to stop it right here just to talk about why it sounds the way it sounds. Um, the very beginning of this song starts off sounding distorted. So that's an, one of... Basically, what I wanted to highlight with this is that if you have some distortion on the vocals already, that's going to translate into how this vocal load changer is going to process that as well. So the distortion fades out once you get towards the pre-chorus and the chorus, but it's still kind of present and it messes up most of the vocals for this. But I wanted to highlight... Uh, this is why you don't want to use these types of tracks when you're using this uh, feature. So the things that this gets right is mostly the accuracy of the notes. So it really picks up, even with all this distortion, it picks up all of the notes. So I thought that was really cool. It might not be able to sound the best, but if you really listen to it, all those notes, um, they're very accurate in terms of the lyrics. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to come right back and we're going to do our English example. So I will be right back. And we're back and we're going to go ahead and do our English example now. So like I said before, go ahead and go underneath your tracks on the left. Right click under an empty space, click add audio track. Then you want to go to where you have your acapellas. You want to drag and drop um, your WAV file of that acapella onto the editor tracks. And then once that loads up, it'll be a green bar. You're going to go ahead and slide it where you want it and click it and it'll open up this part. And then you want to go click the drop down arrow here and then choose a voice. For this English um, example, we're going to use like one of the, I guess, native English voice banks because you have two Japanese, two English, even though they're all um, bilingual as far as I know. Uh, we're going to choose Sarah. So it's going to basically convert it into, you know, to fit Sarah's voice. And we'll be able to see how it sounds from there. And it doesn't take too long, I guess, depending on your computer, it can probably take a bit longer. Um, Vocaloid 6 doesn't seem too process heavy, like Vocaloid 5 was. It just felt 
really clunky. I guess maybe it's because it's a trial and there's not that much stuff here, but Vocalist 6 doesn't feel that oppressive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's an example for an English uh, song using an acapella using, who's this name? Sarah. So this is Flowers by Isla. just sounds so funny but yeah um the reason why this track sounds especially distorted is because even with how clean this acapella is um there's still a lot of distortion on it in terms of like vocal effects there's layering there's also reverb so all that's gonna make your um acapella track sound bad and if it's not sound bad but it's gonna make your uh vocal changer conversion sound bad um, so we have one more example, and that's the pretty much the best example I have to show you for how this will work the best. And that is the Project Diva rip of the vocal only of Look This Way Baby. Um, thank you to 3Low, 1High Gaming for this one. So the reason why I think this is... Oh, wait, I forgot to add the track. Wait, did it matter? Oh, it didn't even matter. Okay. So I guess you don't even have to click add. If you have a WAV file, you can just drag and drop underneath, and it'll just create an audio track. Uh, so I'm learning something new, too. But, um, and we're going to use Haruka because that's who I use my cover for. Um, and the reason why this version works the best is because there's next to no noise in the background. There's no distortion on Miku's voice, really. There's no reverb. There's no vocal layering. Um, it's just her. So, uh, and I think that will, I think this will probably work the best if you're using uh, vocal synth files to convert like say you had a really good utau cover and you wanted to convert that to vocaloid 6 then you can export that with your utau voice and then import the acapella and then convert it to use it here um, if you are going to do that though and it's not your file just like when you credit in ust or whatever you definitely want to credit whoever did the tuning on that um, just so there's no like thievery going on or whatever um, and yeah, let's go ahead and listen to this one here. バンクワークスキャ。強かったら足りないんだ。そうしてできがするかって そうだいな、なんか足りないけど、嘘ついてきてる。あ、気に入ってと思ったね。ちゃんと気づいてていいのなんて言わせないわ。本気を取らなかったら、どうぞ忘れとれちゃう。ずっと気に入れて、君を
just drag and drop your WAV file underneath the track so it can create an audio track. Click it and then change your voice. That's pretty much simple. And if you are going to use this, make sure that your um, acapella track does not have any noise in the background. Um, so no reverb, no effects on the voice. Just make sure it's a flat vocal to use. Other than that, you can come up with some really good results with this. I think as this software does evolve, updates to this will definitely make this feature better if they do focus on it because it is AI. Um, and I think this is going to be really amazing, especially not for like song covers, but for original songs, because if you can sing your own song, even like averagely, it'll convert this and you can always um, make it sound better with like Melodyne or something. So this will really be a game changer for like original song creation, I feel, uh, especially if you like can, you can already sing, um, you can just ar make a really good sounding vocal track to either harmonize with you, compliment you, whatever you want to do. So yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial or if you found it helpful, um, click like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.